Okay, this is Giles Peterson at the EFG London Jazz Festival 2015 edition. An amazing festival, gets better every year. Um, we're at the Barbican right now and I've been listening so far to one of my five highlights of the festival this year. So number one highlight, I would say Kamasi Washington. Um, he's been definitely the one who's given us the record that's the sort of game changer for jazz, I think, this year. Um, the perfect combination of working with Brain Feeder Records, which is Flying Lotus's label, with some incredible musicians, strings, voices, free jazz, spiritual jazz, three CDs, three vinyls, um, the epic, it's probably my album of the year, um, powerful jazz music, which is entry, it's an entry point for so many people, you know, from the work he's done with Kendrick Lamar to his heritage work with people like Kenny Burrell and Gerald Wilson, his work with Lauren Hill and with Snoop Dogg and Kendrick Lamar. He's an incredible musician, great person, and uh, he's got a lot of responsibility on his shoulders to keep the baton going strong. As you might know, the Kamasi Washington show was the first ticket to sell out at the London Jazz Festival this year. It's the hottest ticket in town. And luckily for us in London, he's going to be doing a special show tonight at the Scala in King's Cross. Great venue, very personal, and uh, a second chance for me to go and see him again and for people who couldn't get tickets to go and check out the big man from Los Angeles. Um, my second sort of highlight of this year, I, I, I want to go and see Jose James, you know. I think he's a brilliant singer. I was fortunate enough to meet him many years ago when he was just carrying a demo tape and he gave me a version of a John Coltrane song called Equinox and uh, I released a couple of his records and he's gone on to sign to Blue Note and he's just grown and grown and grown into a highly reputed international jazz artist. Again, understanding the heritage but looking into the future. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's up to at the moment. I haven't heard him for a bit. He's just done a record as a tribute to Billie Holiday and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great concert. Um, okay, something a little bit different. Um, I will go for a brilliant British band. I saw them yesterday, so it's kind of like a highlight I've already had. Um, and they're called the Sons of Kemet. They're a group that are basically run by um, a saxophonist called Shabaka Hutchins. And it's an interesting combination, two drummers, um, a tuba that plays all the great bass parts, and Shabaka, it's just full on energy jazz. It's got a little bit of New Orleans, it's got some free, it's got some Caribbean. Um, it's incredible performance. You could put it on at the highlight of a rave in a jazz festival. It's, it's really one of the most interesting progressive pieces of quartet play that I've heard in many years. So I'm very excited about him. Um, Cécile McLaren Salvan. Um, she's great. I discovered her in France. She's signed to a French record label and just a beautiful singer. Um, again, in the kind of traditions of Nina Simone, um, I saw her last year at the North Sea Jazz Festival, it blew my mind then, and uh, I can't wait to see her again, she's one to watch for the future, no question. And finally, let's go to Cuba, let's go to Cuba, and uh, a musician, a pianist called David Virel, and he had an album out last year on ECM, but his music is equally relevant to a label like ECM as it is to a label like Warp in the UK. He's very interested in experimenting with electronics, an incredible improvisa improvisational artist, and uh, yeah, a, a different side to, one, to, to the great legacy of pianists that come from Cuba. There's some great pianists over there, such a heritage and depth in piano playing, and he's the new school. So, they're my five. <laughs>